Alright, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. So, if you watched my channel before, obviously like the second video I made was about my eating disorder. And it kind of goes more into depth about like how it affects me and shit and how I got out of it as well. But um, I'm just going to make a freshie because that one's pretty old and it's pretty shit quality. So I'm just going to make a new one and, you know, because it's not talked about and you may not realise a lot of people are going through it because they might project themselves as being really happy people. But on the inside, they're actually going through struggles and stuff that are just kept behind doors. You know, hopefully males, females can relate because I'm putting myself out there. I'm going to talk about it and... You know, hopefully they can relate and, you know, get some support, some guidance because I've been there, I've done that and, you know, I'm out of it. I mean, if five people see this and it's helped them, like, my job's done. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care if you watch this and you're like, oh, I fucking dickhead or something. Like, if I've helped someone out there, that's, like, you know, the least I can do. So, going through, like, an eating disorder or you know, depression or having suicidal thoughts, that shit consumes your life. All I thought about was food. Like, I was so hungry, I was just thinking about food. And exercise, like, oh, if I eat that, will it make me fat? We'll have to exercise more. And, like, all these thoughts are just rushing through my head that I forgot what I actually had to focus on, what should be focused on. And that's, you know, building healthy relationships with your family and friends and concentrating on being, like, a decent person like a good person and like contributing and helping people like I was just so focused on myself and being skinny and that's just all I cared about and that's so wrong like it's just it could it consumes your life too much and I know there's people out there that feel this way right now and don't know what to do they feel alone or you know they've just hit rock bottom like I did you know I didn't want to leave I had suicidal thoughts I was like What's the point? Is my life just going to be like this? Like, what's the point of me just living? But something hit me when I went vegan and I kind of got myself out of it. You know, I had people who inspired me like, doing right off freely. Like, they just opened up my eyes. The only person who's going to get you out of it is you. People don't like hearing it, but you control your thoughts and emotions, your actions, and how you treat yourself. So if you have a meal, you choose whether you want to eat it or you don't. So the first thing I did is I accepted the fact that I wasn't mentally okay and I had an eating disorder because you'd be surprised how much people actually don't want to accept the fact that they're not okay. Like, for example, me, I was like, nah, man, I'm just, you know, I'm healthy. I'm, you know, doing healthy things. I'm eating healthy, but I didn't know what fucking health was. I was... I thought that health was eating extremely high protein animal foods, no carbs, like no carbs. I ate probably like half a fucking banana a day and eating low calorie and restricting your calories. I thought that was health. One, I was so into health, but I knew shit all about it. So, you know, when I went vegan, obviously that was like one of the main reasons why I first went into veganism because I was like, this is actually healthy. You know, it's backed up with evidence. Plant-based doctors are reversing disease and illnesses by, you know, putting people on a plant-based diet. And, you know, I saw people like Freely and all these people were smashing the food and they're lean. And they've been doing this for like 10 years now. And I was like, holy fuck. All right. So what I'm doing obviously isn't right and it's not long term and I'm not okay. My life's not okay. I've hit rock bottom. It's time to accept the fact that I need to get better and the only person who, that's going to do that is me. You can help someone all you want. You can put all your time, all your energy into them to try and make them better. But if unless they don't want to get better, it's, it's probably never going to work. So, you know, you have to want to get better in order for it to actually work. And that's another thing. Then you have to want to get better because you'd be surprised as well People usually don't want to get better. They're afraid of what would happen if they'll lose friends, if their appearance will change. Like, people fear change a lot of the time. And they don't, they're too lazy to, you know, start doing different things and, like, getting up and actually doing something and taking, um, taking action onto things and, you know, changing themselves. So that's another thing. You have to want to get better. Next thing that really worked for me is getting outside of my comfort zone. So I was really addicted to exercise. 
So I stopped exercising. That was really hard for me, like mentally, because I was like, oh no, if I don't exercise, you know, I'll gain weight, blah, 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 all this shit. And that really helped me because I think I was, like, I was pretty addicted to exercise. Like, bro, I was training like two hours a day at the gym on a thousand calories. Like, I was fucking wearing my body out until it was just tired as fuck and my mental health went down and it's just not good not good you don't want to put yourself in that position and make like little steps if you're someone who lays in bed all day and does nothing and just all the curtains are down get out of bed that's your first step you want to get out of bed if you have to drag yourself out of bed drag yourself out of bed throw yourself out of bed open the door go outside go for a walk breathe in some fresh air some deep breaths Go outside and move your body and, you know, get your body moving so your brain releases endorphins. It's a feel-good hormone and it works better than any drug, any caffeine because it's naturally occurring and it's not under the influence of drugs. Get off the caffeine, get off the drugs, not good. And then you want to start eating real food. By real food, I mean food that comes from the earth, not processed junk, not animal products, that isn't food. Okay, that's not real food and it doesn't fuel your mind, it doesn't fuel your cells, your body, your brain and that's what you want. You want to be eating high nutrient, high carbohydrate foods so that you actually have energy and your mind is filled with glucose. Food is not your enemy bro, it gives you life, it gives you energy, vibrancy. It's like, why would you restrict something that fuels your body. It's like restricting oxygen, you know what I mean? It's silly as fuck. Why would you wanna slow your metabolism? Why would you wanna put your body through ketosis? It's like, why would you wanna damage your body just cause you want short term fix? You wanna know what's making people sick, overweight, nearly dead? Dead animal flesh and byproducts. And you need to look into that and, you know, watch and read some doctor information some doctors are actually reversing disease, like I said before, and look at research that isn't funded by the dairy and meat industry because you'd be surprised how much stuff out there. They pay millions of dollars. They fund education systems, dietitians, doctors, nurses to actually teach people that meat and dairy and eggs is healthy when it's fucking not. So you need to do research on legit research that isn't funded by those industries because that makes it biased. Another thing that really worked for me is starting to practice gratitude. And you know, I have, I have access to food and I'm choosing not to eat it when there's people out there who are eating dirt and water and they'd be crying out for food. And I'm just sitting here and I have the choice whether I wanna you know, fill my belly up with food and be satiated and I'm choosing not to do that just because I want to be skinny. Something just clicked in me when I started to think about that a bit more and I was like, holy fuck, what am I doing? There's people out there who want to have the food that I'm eating, I'm choosing not to eat it, but it's right in front of me. Like, I'm so lucky and I'm just not being grateful for the life I have and the good life I have and I'm choosing to just ruin my health and deprive myself. For them, food is their saviour, it fills their stomachs, it keeps them alive and that's how they view food. How I view food was you should restrict it, you should vomit it up because I want to be skinny and that's how I view food. So by going vegan, that's how I started to appreciate food more because um, I knew where it came from, I wasn't supporting sick industries, my food was coming from the ground and somehow it just made me appreciate it more and I felt really lucky to be able to fill my stomach up and you know I was eating like 4,000 calories when I started eating again because my mind was so deficient it was so undercarbed and I was smashing in so much food and you know what happened I had so much energy I was finally like conscious and like I don't know how to explain it, but I just had this vibrancy in me where I wanted to get up. I wanted to do things. I wasn't just like sad, crying about how I'm not skinny, weighing myself every morning, purging up food, taking photos constantly, being obsessed about my appearance. Like life just started to feel so much better when I was feeding my brain, my mind with glucose and I was actually fueling my body and you know what, I, I gained weight, but that was necessary. It's like when you abuse your metabolism and your body so much, like this went on for about two years total, that's a long time that your body has been damaged for. And 
you know, you've got to gain the weight back and maybe a little bit extra because that's just your body recovering from what you've done to it. It's like karma. The five biggest things that have helped me, um, accepting the fact that I'm not okay, wanting to get better, actually wanting it, getting outside of your comfort zone, doing things you wouldn't normally do, eating larger meals of plant foods, you know, maybe not exercising, having a break from that, whatever it may be that will get you outside of your comfort zone. Eating whole plant foods, high carb, high carb foods that will give you energy. You know, like a lot of fruit, bananas, dates, potatoes, rice, pasta, rice noodles, noodles, anything you like to eat, eat the fuck out of it. And then last thing, being grateful and actually remembering what food is and how it's not going to make you feel actually concentrating on things that matter because at the end of the day that shouldn't be a main focus what you look like and that's what people focus on right but let's change that let's change the way we think let's change the way we eat and life will be so much better not only for us mentally but you know animals and the planet and everyone will just be fucking happy so go vegan by the way i was not getting supported at all throughout this whole thing of my weight gain and everything you know, my family was like, what the fuck, you're gaining all this weight? Like, they loved the fact that I was thin and slim and looked good when I was gaining it. You know, they are like, what the fuck, what the fuck? So I was bombarded with fucking hate every single day, but I knew at my heart that I wanted to get better. I knew that I wasn't okay, and I didn't give a fuck if people thought differently. Like, just do you and help yourself because no one's going to do it. Remember, you control your thoughts and emotions, your actions, what you put into your body it's not like easy too it's like you know you're getting outside of your comfort zone you're doing things that you usually wouldn't do and things are changing in your body and it's like of course it's not gonna be easy it's not like it's gonna get better overnight or your relationship with food is gonna get better overnight like that takes time for me for me it didn't actually take long i think it's because so many things like clicked in my brain and it was just all making sense and i knew it was the right thing to do Please feel free to message me, you or you know someone that's going through a rough time in eating disorder and need someone to talk to, someone to relate to, um, please do. Like, dislike, comment, share, do whatever you want and have a good day guys, peace.